What is going on, SafeMoon Army? It is SafeMoon Search here yet again with another video for you all today. And to all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys have been showing the channel. To all the new viewers, welcome to SafeMoon, the fastest growing crypto community on earth. And yes, I will continue to repeat myself, consolidates V2 SafeMoon if you have not done that yet. If we take a look here real quick at the addresses we currently have, it's 591,612 addresses. And we possibly could be getting to 600,000 addresses here shortly, probably by the end of the week, if not next week early next week but february has started off to a great start simply because we got listed on mandela the trading and the deposits have not started yet but that will be announced shortly and we possibly could be seeing some more news coming soon uh, we do have a couple of tokens getting listed on the safe moon swap which is also very exciting but with that being said before we jump into the topic of the video make sure to come and subscribe like and comment i would greatly appreciate it your guys support means a lot so make sure to do that share these videos and let's jump right into it so real quick the price of safe moon has actually gone down we can see that this could be possibly a good buying opportunity for a lot of you to continue to increase your bag size if you're willing to and are capable of doing the price is sitting at 20181 as of right now but clearly we are just continuing to consolidate around this price point right now with safe moon and there is going to be a quite a bit of catalyst coming soon and we do know that next month is the one year anniversary for safe moon so i'm expecting some big announcements and we don't have yet a safe moon sunday ama confirmed yet but we will be having one this month so definitely looking forward to that we should be getting a safe moon wallet update as well as you guys know we're doing amas once a month and a wallet update once a month like a major wallet update not like some things that are tweaked here and there it should be a major wallet update as well so definitely looking forward to that but once that's confirmed i will definitely be making a video about it but let's go ahead and head over to twitter here if you guys have not followed me at safe moon surge here on twitter i would greatly appreciate it and randolph here if you guys don't follow him, he definitely puts great content out about Safe Moon and is very knowledgeable and educational. But he had put, so we are officially listed on Mandela. Fun fact, Mandela listed over 302 tokens in total. How many of these tokens are listed on Binance? 307. There's one that's not listed and it will be Safe Moon. Could we possibly be the next one listed on Binance? Possibly, possibly. If we are on Mandela, we should be getting on Binance as well. And this could just be, like I always say, could just be a pre-trial for Binance to see how much demand there is for SafeMoon. So just keep that in mind. I love seeing this. SafeMoon Warrior tweeted this out. This hashtag SafeMoon Times Square billboard has been displayed 2,340 times since January 1st. We still have 23,940 ads left until December 31st, 2021, 2022. So keep in mind, guys. As this continues to get viewed more and more, it's just repetitive. So there's probably a lot of people in New York who see it all the time who aren't in SafeMoon yet. And uh, we should be expecting SafeMoon to finally come out with their own exchange, their own blockchain to allow people in Texas and New York to be able to purchase directly. So just keep that in mind. People who are probably downloading it are probably having some confusion on how to go about it if... They can't get BNB in New York uh, directly through like Binance or something along the lines of that. KuCoin is huge in New York, and we know that a lot of people are going through that exchange to be able to get SafeMoon. So definitely very exciting. Uh, SafeMoon here, Shib Shibnobi put this out. Hashtag SafeMoon. SafeMoon has gotten back to us on our request to list slightly earlier and we will be listing on their swap on wednesday february 9th which is next week we also know that i believe if it's if i'm not mistaken safe affinity is getting listed this week on the safe moon swap so shibnobi is has has a big community and so to have I know it's only like they, they just hit over 50,000 holders, but they're a strong community is what I meant to say. They're definitely a strong community. And 
I don't hold a bag in a Shibnobi yet, but once they're on the Safe Moon swap, I'm definitely going to consider getting on that. So don't get me wrong. I've looked through their white paper. I've looked through their roadmap. I believe they're a great project, but that's just me. I don't have any investment in Shibnobi, but once they're on the Safe Moon swap, believe it, they got my support and I will probably get me some. So just putting that out there, it's great to see a lot of these projects coming on the Safe Moon swap. You can literally see the exchange being built right in front of us because I'm sure a lot of these tokens that are getting on the decentralized exchange are going to get pre approved and approved for the hybrid exchange that Safe Moon is going to provide. So it's going to be massive. As we continue to move forward, we finally had John tweet this out in regards to the Mandela exchange, even though we've already seen this. He said 32 to the safe, hashtag safe moon. What could this possibly mean? I don't know what 32 is. I think 32 is John's way to tell us something big is coming uh, without telling us something big is coming. I think this is like his code word for us. If you guys know what 32 means, let me know in the comment section because I genuinely don't know what 32 refers to. Um, there's a lot of speculation and theories, but I think it's just John's way to tell us, prepare yourselves, prepare and get ready. I think could it have a reference to the exchange, the Safe Moon Exchange, possibly, um, but honestly, I think it's just a reference to something big. But let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate that. Um, we also did see this. This was part of the Utah business article, which you guys can see here. But John Caroni had stated, in terms of our strategy and focus in measuring our growth by our user acquisition, we're somewhere between the paths of Amazon and Tesla, Caroni says. We've accomplished a level of community growth within months that took Bitcoin, for example, several years to achieve. How big is that? Yes, so we're growing very quickly, and John Crony understands that. And he wants to be, Safe Moon wants to be a household name. We want that for Safe Moon, and Crony wants that as well, just as we know Amazon and Tesla are a household name. So why can't Safe Moon do that? And so if we can provide products, which we will, and systems that will be implemented in people's everyday lives just like how amazon and tesla is right of course we can see safe moon being a household name so definitely very awesome to see that that's what john crony's vision is with safe moon and i can definitely see how our products and our ecosystem will essentially be the amazon and tesla of the crypto world just putting that out there um this was pretty cool to see uh, patience is key. We are currently rolling out all of the foundational elements of the Safe Moon ecosystem in preparation for major product releases. Again, we are just getting started. Please wait for our ecosystem to be complete. So you can see these five things being completed, right? Um, we still have that one new listing incoming, which a lot of people think it's going to be Binance, possibly could be KuCoin, but everyone's leaning towards Binance as of right now. Then we'll have the Safe Moon Exchange. One thing they did forget in here is the NFTs, um, but that will probably be integrated within the Safe Moon Exchange. Then we have the blockchain and the card. I think these three right here, we could possibly be seeing before summertime, is my prediction. Pure speculation, but that is my prediction. Um, I think we could be seeing the Safe Moon Exchange and the card coming in March because that is the one year anniversary of Safe Moon and then the blockchain following right after. I'm going to say April, May. And then we could see the Safe Moon once these are all implemented and everything has been done. Um, we could see the Safe Moon podcast and the Safe Moon Connect. We could see Safe Moon Connect before the podcast, but yeah. And we know that Mooncraft is. The servers are coming up, I think, this week. They're going to be implemented. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a huge year for Safe Moon. I think we're going to see some major catalysts for Safe Moon and definitely very exciting. I, the documentary probably won't happen for like the next year or two, to be honest, until we really see the full effect of the ecosystem put in play. 
that's when we could see the Safe Moon documentary. But let me know what you guys think of this list. Um, so far, so good. I mean, I'm I'm very very excited for what's to come with Safe Moon. Follow me here at Safe Moon Surge on Twitter. Make sure to come and follow and subscribe, like, and comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get to 10K subscribers. Um, I would greatly appreciate that. You guys will always be number one to me. I'm always going to talk Safe Moon and always give you guys the most recent updates that are crucial. And with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and I will talk to you all in the next one.